Writing is this wonderful excuse for going to places that you're sometimes not supposed to go to. Like Moscow. I've discovered that there are a lot of ways of taking home what you see. And it's not just the camera. I often resorted to drawing on the street. And what I'm looking for generally is a thousand or a million details. It's the details that make up the mosaic of life. Because I do this combination of fact and fiction, I love research. I love finding out what I didn't know. And, you know, there's wonderful eureka moments where you say, well, that's why he went in there, because the other guy, because there's the guy with the gun is waiting outside, and you, you, you just run into situations if you put yourself on the ground. I've published six books about Russia. Sometimes they're called thrillers, sometimes they're called literary thrillers. The books have some of the same characters. Arkady Renko is, of course, a fictitious character. He holds the title of being a senior investigator for important cases. And he's the, the truth teller. He's the honest man in a dishonest system. I like being with the character, because that's what it feels like. You're not making him up, you're with him. And, you know, he's changed over the years. I'd say he's a little bit darker, but who wouldn't be? Because poor Arkady is really a, a reflection of, of Russia. To all these books, the narrator is more or less an outsider. I don't think it takes a lot of analysis to say it comes from my own upbringing. I've always been acutely aware of being a part American Indian and uh, playing cowboys and Indians. I always wanted to be the uh, the Indian, and uh, and I was I would be outraged in the movie theater when when the cowboy would be on the train and shooting out the bat, shooting out the window, and he'd fire, and three or four Indians would fall off their horses. It's wanting to know who is this enemy. Does he have children? Does he have a job? What does he believe in? What does he think the world is? Uh, everybody really believes the world is flat and revolves around them. And the images that we have are rarely compatible. But if you try to get the two to meet, you wouldn't lose the contrast. You still have American and Russian, cowboy, Indian. But it would make for a, you know, a far more real and worthwhile book to write.